but this one has the highest drop rating, which both of them are going to be at 14 feet. Hello, everybody. Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video for Tech Tuesday, we're going to be talking about protecting your technology and more so going to be for your Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. But these will also go along with, again, the S8, S8 Plus, as well as the Galaxy Note 8, if you want to find them on either tech21.com or the gear4.com, as well as Amazon. Now, the first one we will be talking about today is going to be Gear 4. Now, Gear 4 sent me four different styles that I'd be able to play with and use. But just so you guys know, the one that I have been using most of the time is the Victoria style, which this is the one that you've been seeing on this device right here. So if you've seen any videos where it's gonna have kind of like a clear or black kind of front and edges, um, along with a pretty cool design on the very back over here, which we'll get a closer view of what all these cases will look like and, and their functionalities. But that was the one that I've been using from Gear 4. Now the other brand we will be talking about is going to be Tech 21. Now this one right here, the style of these ones is their Evo Max. It's a brand new style from Tech21. From the last time I knew, you'd be able to pre-order those on Tech21.com, but it is not on Amazon just yet. And this one is the Evo Max. Now they sent me two different colors um, because I was not able to decide or decide between the two. So I got this one right over here, which is kind of this like burgundy burnt red type color. I'll probably read and see exactly what it's called. But then here is that blue one that you've seen on my other S9. So if you're familiar with any of my videos, you know that these are the two phones that you've been seeing, and these are the two cases that is being used used on a daily basis. So you know for a fact that I know and trust these two brands here. Uh, but let's get onto the overhead rig and let's get a little bit closer view and look at these ones. And again, at any point in time when I talk about products, there's always links below the video. So if you are interested in these ones, I will put links to gear4.com as well as tech21.com to where you'll be able to find these and check them out. And again, check them out if you have the Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, as well as the Galaxy Note 8, not only specifically for the S9 and the S9 Plus. All right, so getting to a closer look of exactly what these cases are, this is the one that you've been seeing on most of my videos. So you can kind of see here that if you've watched a video that looks just like this, this one right here is the case that I've been using. And honestly, this one, I actually truly love this thing. It's used um, with some type of material that is definitely, it seems more dense, more rubberized than some of the previous cases I've used from before. So when you actually smack this thing down on a table, it's gonna sound different than almost any other case. Now, if you've looked on the back and you've noticed that there is a few cuts and scratches and scuffs, that just proves the wear and tear that I use this thing pretty much on a every single daily basis. And just so you know, this thing is being flopped on a table all the time. I also go to the gym about five days a week. This thing is definitely sitting on the ground all the time as well. So you're definitely getting your use out of it. And this is showing you exactly what's going to happen when you use this thing. Now there's a huge different cut right here. I don't really know exactly how I did that. Um, but it also states over here on this box that this one is supposed to be scratch resistant, which more than likely, I almost want to use the words of uh, being scratch resistant of your device because this one is preventing all these little scratches that could happen to the back of your phone. The other stuff it talks about is slim design and ultimate impact protection, which I can definitely state this one does have a very good impact. I've dropped this thing a few times already and I have not broken my phone. This one is rated for a three meter, which is a 10 foot drop. I'd have to say that all the times I did drop it, it was within about six feet so far. So I have not tested higher than the 10 feet. No, also along with the case, I do have to mention this, that this Victoria case, which is the one that I'm using, the Victoria Streak, this case uses D30, the thinnest, most advanced impact protection material in the world. Now, if you do want to learn more about this material, just check out D30.com. And if you also want to check out all these different cases that I am talking about for the first four in this video, you want to check out gear4.com. Now, I'm not going to read the back of this packaging. I'm not going to read the rest of all the different other packaging as well. Basically, all the different features. Now, this one is just one of those where if you just want it to look pretty good, Good. And the thing about it as well is you can see this different design. These are the different streaks that it is talking about. And this one is using that black device. Now, really fast, I do want to show you what this thing looks like with a blue phone. So if you did happen to get um, the other blue, the coral blue, if you want to see what this one is looking like with your device, let's actually place this thing in there. And you can see that it actually looks pretty sweet. Now, there's a bunch of different fingerprints and there's scuffs. And obviously, when you first get your phone, you're not going to have all this. But this one is looking pretty nice, guys. Um, and the way that this thing just feels in the pocket, the way that it comes in, it comes out. Um, and also just the way that I love it protects the phone. It works again if you're using almost any type of screen protection as well. It's not going to pop off all the different tempered glasses. I've already tested that as well in previous videos. This thing is just an all around really good looking case and it protects your 
your phone. There's really no other features other than just looking good and protecting the device. So this one right here, the first one is going to be the Victoria Streak. But the next one we're gonna look at is gonna be this one that's called Piccadilly. Um, Piccadilly, I don't know, I might have said that one wrong, but this one is the color of black. There might be other versions as well, different colors that you'd be able to choose from. Again, also three meter, which is a 10 foot drop. This one's made for the Galaxy S9 Plus. And again, this one is also using the D30 material. So let's kind of go inside and see what this thing looks like. So checking this one out, this one is just definitely clear on the back. So if you did happen to get the metallic blue or the lilac purple, you are gonna get some really cool colors that is coming on through the back of this. Now this one I have not used just yet, but this one is actually feeling and looking just like the previous phone case that I was using from before, which was the Victoria Streak. It just happens to be that this one kind of has that like streaky type of color on the very back. And then this one right here is just fully just clear. So if you do wanna show what the back of your phone looks like, if you did get black, or if you got lilac purple or the coral blue. This one is a clear version for you that is still going to protect your phone, um, but have that clear backing on the very back. The next one up is gonna be Battersea. And again, this one is going to be the black color. Now this one is for four meters, which is for 13 feet. So if you are somebody who is gonna be dropping your phone from a pretty high level, this one will probably be the one for you. Now again, it's made from the D30. If you wanna check it out, check out D30.com. And now let's open this up and let's check it out. Now here's that case, this one is the Battersea. This one, you will not be able to see the back of your device, but I can see all these different rivets inside of here and I can see all these different lines. And this right here is gonna be an additional support for the drop. So that is why this one is going to be three feet higher, which is rated for 13 feet. Now, my guess is that there's gonna be multiple different colors you would also be able to use. This one actually fits in there pretty easy. The lips on it also does a very good job. The other cases is just as high as this one as well. So it's definitely gonna be protecting it if you are placing your phone face down on a table or anything like that. So if this is the type of phone case that you are looking for for your device, then this one is definitely going to be for you. And again, for this one, for the main features is that it's going to have a little bit higher of a drop rate and it's also blocking the back of what your phone looks like. So if you don't care for anybody to see that, then this one will probably be for you. Now the last one up from Gear 4 is gonna be referred to as Oxford. Now Oxford, this one is going to be a folio case. So if you are somebody who loves to have a case that could possibly work here as a kickstand, also just one to hold a couple different cards for you. So if you are one of those folio type users, then this one was gonna be for you from the company from Gear 4. Now here is that folio case and it looks as if there's a little bit of dimples on here, but it's actually pretty smooth when you actually feel it. And uh, you'd be able to rub your finger across this. So it's not gonna be sticking to the inside of your pockets or your your pants but you know if you want something that's a little bit more rubberized when you hold on to it a little bit better of a grip this one won't be for you but it's definitely something that is smooth that'll go in and out of your pocket pretty fast now this right here this little clip right here um, it does not open up or close it doesn't really move it's just a hard plastic but it does kind of hold it into place pretty well but you're not going to open it up or there's no magnetism so let's kind of take these things off here and then this is where you'd be able to see that you are able to place in a couple different cards so you can push in you know maybe a debit or a credit card as well as your driver's license uh, this opens up, which usually with, with what that means that you'd be able to use this also as a kickstand if you wanted to watch your favorite shows. And then this over here, you'd be able to open up. You can hide a little bit of money in there if you need to. If you're going out painting the town red. Now, placing this phone inside of the case, it was pretty snug. So it actually went in there pretty tight. So this one is gonna be extremely good, um, you know, if you wanna go out and about and do everything else. Now, I've noticed though, that once I placed my phone inside of there, you can hear that snap just a little bit better. So as your phone is inside of there, you saw that it was a pretty snug fit. That means that it basically pushed this out just a little bit to make this one be a little bit more of a clip and act as something that is holding it shut. So that right there is something that I do love. I'm not a huge fan of the folio case, which is the only reason why I have not used this one yet for me to really notice that just because when I do take pictures, uh, I don't wanna hold a flap open. And, and when you close it up, uh, the inside might get a little bit dirty. Um, but the thing is, is that there's a lot of people that would use this if they just wanna go out and paint the town red again and just put in a little bit of uh, um, credit cards, debit cards, and then you're actually good to go. So this one is gonna be for you if you're one of those folks who love to have a folio case. And again, this one is referred to as Oxford. Then if you wanted to check the other one out that we talked about again, this one is the clear version, which is the Piccadilly. This is the one that does the same protection as the very first one that I've used. I just like to have this Victoria streak, which is right here. 
you can see the little streak and all the different designs on the very back. This is the one that I've been using on a day-to-day -day basis. And then the very last one that we also talked about from before from Gear 4 is going to be Battersea. This is if you need to have a higher protection, if you need it to be 13 feet, this will be the one for you. And you don't care about checking out the back of your device, but then definitely on the inside of here, this extra layer of protection, this little exoskeleton is going to be giving you your additional three feet of a drop. So again, if you like any of these cases here from Gear 4, check out gear4.com. I'll place the link below the video. Now let's move over to Tech 21. Now the next case up is going to be Tech 21. Now they did send me two different colors just because I was not able to decide between the two here of this blue one as well as this red one. Now you are able to check out Tech 21 if this is something you're interested in, but this one has the highest drop rating, which both of them are going to be at 14 feet because this one is both, again, the Evo Max. Now this one right here was the blue one. This is the one that I've been always using. If you've noticed that I've used a, or did a video with the blue front here, that was this case here of Tech 21. Now I, the the last time I knew they're not on Amazon, but I will be checking that out here pretty soon. And the nice thing I love about Tech 21 is that these ones are the ones I've been dropping off of my vehicle where I'm about 13 or 14 feet high. So I can definitely trust that this one will be able to protect it, um, especially versus the other ones that I've talked about from before. So now I just want to check out what this color right here looks like when I place it onto the phone. Now, this one actually looks almost wider, a little bit bigger when you actually use a case like this that has a accented color versus if you're to do something that doesn't really have it as much. So you can kind of see you know if i was to kind of put these things close together that the blue one almost looks a little bit bigger but yet they're the exact same phone they're both the galaxy s9 plus so let's take off this blue one which this one again was the default one that i've always used ever since it was sent to me now we're going to check this out we're going to see what it looks like with this burgundy type of color now the front of it kind of blends in a little bit. It almost looks black, but you can see that there's just a tiny bit of burgundy. And especially if you're to take this thing outside in front of the uh, sun, it's probably gonna change the, very, the color of the very front. Now the back doesn't look too bad. So you can kind of see still a little bit of the color of the device. So this one is that little uh, coral blue color. If you had lilac purple, you can see a little bit of that. And if you had black, you'd be able to see a little bit of your black device as well. Now down here, it's definitely gonna be smooth. And then up here, you can kind of feel a little bit of the design. Now, first off, when I was using this phone, it almost bothered me. Um, I felt as if I had dirt or something on my device, but I got used to it. Um, and also your fingerprint reader is just super easy to uh, navigate to and also use. Now that also goes with a lot of the other Gear 4 ones as well. Now the thing about Gear 4 is that they have this little area here that has a dip. Now when you put your finger inside the dip, it's going to be super easy to unlock and use your phone. So this one I do kind of like that there is a little bit of a dip that kind of slides your finger into that fingerprint reader. This one doesn't have that dip, but it just goes directly over to where your fingerprint reader is at, which you should be used to using by now. Now checking out the casing from Tech 21, they do have the five different points that they always like to talk about, which is gonna be the 14 foot drop protection. It is ultra thin. There's zero interference, so when you are using this with wireless charging there, it is not going to affect that at all. Same thing with Gear 4, they're both extremely thin, but also protective. That also makes sure that the wireless charging works as well. The maximum protection, which is talk about the three layers of protection and then their lifetime warranty. So that's all of the cases I want to talk about today from Tech Tuesday for your Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. Again, some of these you are able to find, again, for the Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, as well as the Galaxy Note 8 from coming from the Gear 4 as well as Tech 21. Now, all of these cases I would highly recommend for my friends and family, which means that I would definitely also push it over to you guys that I do suggest these for protecting your device. And again, along with the guidelines of what they mention about, talking about from the 10-foot drop all the way over to the 14-foot drop you'll be able to get with Tech 21. And again, all these different links will be placed below the video inside the description. I hope that you guys have liked this video and if you guys appreciated it, make sure you just give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe right over here. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later.